This is the Sangyong Rexton, a seven-seater offering from our Opus from Korea. At the front of the Rexton is a mix of luxury and ruggedness, as shown by the curvy front fascia and the prominent wheel arches on the fenders. It is also equipped with halogen projector low beams, multi-reflector halogen high beams, LED turn signal indicators, and halogen fog lights, and also your front parking sensors mounted on the front bumper. Under the hood of the Rexon are these gas struts. I wish that every car manufacturer installs this instead of those traditional hood props that burn you every time you open the hood of your car. And also a 2.2 liter turbo diesel engine that produces 181 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque, mated to a 7 speed automatic transmission that powers the rear wheels. At the side of the Rexton, you'll see again the very aggressive wheel arches. Also, 18 inch wheels that are wrapped around 255 60 series tires. It has disc brakes on all four corners with ABS, EBD, ESC, hill descent control, and brake assist. There are LED turn signal indicators on both of the auto folding side mirrors as well as puddle lamps to see what you step on at night. At the rear of the Rexton, you'll see the LED tail lights, halogen turn signal indicators, halogen reverse lights, and halogen fog lights. There's also the rear parking sensors on the rear bumper of the Rexton, also a rear view camera mounted beside the button for the rear tailgate. On the rear cargo area of the Rexton, you can probably fit two small size suitcases and a couple of backpacks. Now the rear floor of the cargo area is adjustable so you can adjust it lower or higher depending if you have the third row seats folded or not. Now folding the third row seats, will give you more space. Now, if that is not enough, you can fold the second row seats to give you tons of space. You could probably fit a small refrigerator or a small washing machine. In the interior of the Rexton, you'll be greeted by a leather wrap steering wheel, as well as soft touch materials around the cabin, like the soft touch dash, leather wrap door cards, and leather wrap seats. In the middle of the dash, you'll see the eight inch infotainment display with Apple CarPlay and six speakers around the vehicle. The rear view camera will be also shown through the infotainment display. Down below are the controls for the dual zone climate control as well as the controls for the front heated seats. In the center console, there's two 12 volt power outlets, a single USB port and an auxiliary input. Also the gear shift selector in the middle and an electronic parking brake switch with an auto hold switch. I'm not a fan of the black piano trims inside the interior because it scratches up easily. The center armrest is also soft because it is wrapped in padded leather as well as a big storage box underneath it. The Rexton also comes equipped with power adjustable seats for the driver and manually adjustable seats for the front passenger. There are also bottle holders on either doors. Like in the front, the rear passengers has leather wrapped door cards as well as leather seats. Now the headroom is also good as well as the knee room. Now the front seats are adjusted to my normal driving position and I am 6 feet tall. And as you can see, the space is good. You can probably fit 3 people abreast here with no problems. Also, rear air vents on the rear center console as well as a single USB port and a 220 volt 200 watt power outlet, enough to charge your laptops. There are also bottle holders on either doors as well as cup holders hidden on the backrest of the middle seat and the storage box. In the third row seats, as you can see that I do fit, but there's barely enough headroom and knee room for a big guy like me, and I'm six feet tall. The third row seats are designed for smaller adults and children. It would have been a lot better if the second row seats were adjustable forward and back so that the third row passengers will have more knee room. Unfortunately, the second row seats are fixed. Another issue in the third row seats are the air conditioning vents. It is located at one side only. It would have been a lot better if there were two individual air conditioning vents so that not only one person can feel the cold air. There's also a 12 volt socket for the third row passengers which is a plus. The Sangyong Rexton comes in two variants. This 4x2 variant, which is priced at 1,730,000 Philippine pesos, and a 4x4 variant, which is priced at 2,230,000 Philippine pesos. 
Now, if you find this video helpful, please like and share the video. If you have any suggestions or cars that you want us to review, comment it down below and we'll try to make it happen. Now, if you want to stay up to date for our future video reviews, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you'll get alerted for our future posts.